My name is Daniel Felt, and I am the owner of Cura Home. Today, we are going to go through the process of deep cleaning air ducts. The purpose of an air duct is essentially to provide fresh, clean air to your home. We provide air duct cleaning and routine home maintenance services where we visit our clients' homes once a quarter. Do everything you're supposed to be doing as a perfect homeowner, but a lot of people don't have the time or neglect to do. When we clean the air ducts, we go through and we clean the entire system. So we start in the upper level and we work our way all the way through the entire home depending on who and what is living in the home. The debris that we find inside of air ducts consists of a lot of different items, such as skin cells, dust, dander, pet debris, pet hair. Anything that you would see when you maybe wipe your feet off on a rug when you walk inside a home can be found inside of air ducts. This air duct has not been cleaned for probably 50 plus years. Additionally, the person that lived in this home has also smoked and had pets. So this is a very severe air duct that can actually smell it. It has an old house smell built up over time. If it's a really light color, often we're finding sawdust or sheetrock dust that is from construction debris. As we get into darker colors, sometimes smoking inside the home is going to leave more of a yellow color. And as it gets darker, a lot of times we're more concerned about a humidity issue that can eventually turn into a dark colored mold. You're getting into more hazardous material in there. Once the air duct cover is removed, we're going to allow the air compressor hose to be put into the air duct. Before we're turning on that hose, we're gonna put a clear dome over the cover and we're gonna attach our HEPA vacuum to the dome. Once those items are in place, we're gonna turn the air compressor on and that allows the hose with a reverse blasting ball to propel itself forward into the air duct. The clear dome that's used is crucial because it creates a sealed environment so that we're getting all the dust and debris out of the home and we're not creating a mess inside the home. But it's also crucial because it creates a really nice suction area so all of the power from the air compressor and the vacuum are working together to pull and push the debris outside. We can twist and turn that hose so we can go around any corner. Once we get to the end trunk line, we can feel that in the air compressor hose and we're going to slowly pull that back at about one foot per second. As we're doing that, we can see all the dust and debris that is being removed from the air duct come through that clear dome and go into the HEPA vacuum. Once we've completed the cleaning, find that a little bit of dust and debris has come all the way to the end of the air duct, and it's really important to take your vacuum and clean out that extra debris that's come. Oftentimes, that's where you're gonna find the real treasures such as bugs, toys, at dog toys, bones, items like that that have been placed really far into the air duct and all of our equipment has pulled it out. In order to clean the dust and debris that's found on the inside or outside of vents, you want to remove the vent first and brush that off with the vacuum and you're gonna get a majority of dust and debris off. Then we put the vent cover back on and replace the screws back to their original format and make sure the area is nice and clean and clear of debris. All the air in your home is circulating through your furnace on a regular basis. And by having a clean, clear furnace filter, it's gonna catch all the dust and debris that is circulating throughout. Depending on the style of furnace filter that you have, you may have one that needs to be cleaned on a regular basis. And you can do this by using a HEPA vacuum and brush. Locate the furnace filter inside your furnace and remove that door and pull that furnace filter out. The next thing you want to do is take your vacuum and place that over the furnace filter to make sure you're cleaning that really nice and thoroughly. A dryer vent is allowing the exhaust from a dryer to be pushed outside of the home. The reason why is because over time, lint builds up inside that dryer vent. To properly clean a dryer vent, usually you just need an air compressor and you can use a reverse blasting ball or whip to place inside the dryer vent. We're going to find that exhaust on the outside of the home and we're going to place the air compressor hose inside the dryer vent and we're going to turn that on. That will propel itself into the dryer and dislodge all the lint that's built up over time there's heat that's being pushed through that dryer vent. And if the dryer vent does not have proper airflow, it's very easy for that lint to become flammable and start on fire. We recommend having your dryer vent cleaned on an annual basis to prevent the buildup of the lint and decrease the chance of a fire happening in your home. Depending on your current health, such as if you have really bad allergies or not, 
that can play a really large factor on the risk of living in a home with the dirty air ducts. We've had all kinds of different results. We've had people that have told us that they slept through the night for the first time after they had their air ducts cleaned because the air quality was improved that much. 